Grant Cardone has recently made the mistake of calling out CoffeeZilla. So in this video today, I'm going to be defending coffee with facts. This hasn't worked out well for scammers like Tech Lead and Logan Paul in the past, because it seems like they've both been pretty quiet since the release of my videos on them. But out of the three, Grant's call out is by far the worst. This video is nothing but a pathetic attempt at marketing that unfortunately will not get him the response that he's desperately hoping for from the more famous person that he's actually calling out. And instead, the best he's getting is me, a YouTuber with 13,000 subscribers. And in a beautifully ironic way, by making this video, he somehow managed to damage his reputation because this call out is actually what began my investigation into Grant, and I'm proud to announce that today is the day that we put an end to Grant Cardone, who I can confidently say is the cringiest fake guru of all time. I guarantee you my grandkids will be talking about me. That's a bad motherfucker right there, dude. <laughs> There's it. That dude, that dude, that dude, that dude, god damn. <laughs> god damn. So let's check out what Grant has to say. Hey, Steven. Steven, man, look, big shout out, my friend. I want to give you a big shout out for sending me so much traffic, so many new clients, so many new customers. Bro, you're, bruh, bruh. you're amazing. You're amazing. You pitch better than I do, bro. I'm serious. You're fucking the best, okay? Now, I do want to apologize to all your viewers and yourself directly. I want to walk it back. Not everybody can be a billionaire. Let me tell you who cannot be a billionaire. You, you are literally not a billionaire. And if you want to brag about being one, despite that not being something that most real billionaires ever talk about publicly, show us proof that you are. He can't because that proof does not exist. He also mentions how Coffee's sending him so much traffic, but it seems to me like Grant is lagging in real life here because he hasn't made a video about Grant in well over a year. So I don't know if the guy's going senile or what's going on over there at Cardone Enterprises, but it would be physically impossible for Grant to be getting a significant amount of traffic from CoffeeZilla in 2023. Number one, people that think like you, Steve. People that spend most of their time pimping out for Google, taking your little ad bitch dollars, you're criticizing other people that are successful because you gave up on it. Quitters will never make it. Loafers will never make it. You guys that stay home, comfortable in your house, you're never going to make it. You ain't going to kill a brick. Shit, you probably won't even get a million dollars, okay? Because you gave up. You guys that won't, will, you're not willing to leave your mama's house. You still live in the basement, probably like Steven. Grant, come on, man. Are you really saying that a YouTuber who has 2.6 million subscribers is 37 years old and has gotten more than 100 million views in the last six months is living in his mom's basement? Like, I get it. It's an insult that people throw around online to anyone they dislike, but it has to be at least somewhat rational if you're gonna say it. Like for me, I've actually been relegated to the backyard recently. I'm no longer even allowed in my mom's basement anymore, so this can't possibly be about me either. So I just have no idea who he's talking about here. Okay, you just wanna make YouTube videos about other people that have done whatever it takes. And you guys that stay in college, you stay in college too long, you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to college to waste five years of your life, but then you talk about $12,000 to get a seat at the table to come hang out with people that are winning, too much money. In case anyone doesn't know what he's talking about, coffee made a video reacting to this. I'll never forget these guys paid $12,000 each to sit in that chair. I look over there, I'm like, man, they crazy. People crazy. Three days I got to look at their ugly faces. I'd rather just not live anymore than pay Grant Cardone $12,000 just to hear him say the exact same words he says in free online videos just for him to call me crazy and ugly for paying him 12 grand. He criticizes people for going to college, which is whatever, that's his opinion, but it's not really something Grant can criticize other people for doing. This dude went to college and got into $40,000 in student debt back in the cold war age by the way just to become a car salesman which is just one of the most moronic things i've ever heard i was in the car business for a year but at least i didn't have to go into student debt and get a degree just to shill nissan ultimas to 19 year olds with 450 credit for only 390 bi-weekly you guys that save money you bitches you're never gonna make it i'm just keeping it real okay steven again thank you so much coffeezilla you guys are the best thank you for growing my platform god bless be great kill a break Every time a fake guru like Grant is even mentioned by someone with a large platform, it could potentially help them in terms of producing income by increasing their reach. So I get where he's coming from here, but realistically, I really can't imagine that many CoffeeZilla fans are out here buying $5,000 courses from Grant and getting scammed by Cardone Capital. 
But anyways, this is obviously just an attempt at starting a back and forth with someone who now has a bigger platform than he has. But I'm the best he's getting, unfortunately. Enough with the nonsense though, let's talk about exactly why I think Grant Cardone is an absolute con artist, a grifter, and the worst fake guru of all time. You're a rat. You're out there freaking. You're out there boom boom boom. <laughs> That's some funny shit right yeah, there, right? Yeah. When it comes to real estate, Grant Cardone is the worst person on this entire planet to take advice from. It's a selfish decision to have a home. Okay. Most people shouldn't buy a home. No one should buy a home. Yeah, I sold real estate for three years and I can assure you guys that nobody in the industry takes this guy seriously. Real estate is something that could potentially make or break people's lives financially. It's not just some hobby that might produce income for most people. And Grant only gives advice that benefits himself to get people to invest in Cardone Capital and not advice that benefits the viewer in any way. To show you what I mean, let's check out this incredible real estate advice that he gave Tom Segura and his wife in September of 2019. So how much equity do you got in your house right now? Uh, you know, like half a million. Sell, half it. A Sell it right now. <laughs> Sell, Sell it. it. Grab your half a million. Go rent someplace and pay too much in rent. You guys should do it because because the, the, the wheels are going to fall off this economy and you're not going to be able to sell that house. What signal was there in September of 2019 that the economy was going to get so bad to the point where no one out of 8 billion people on earth would want to buy their home? The fact that you can sell any home in a desirable location at any time assuming that the home is priced correctly in the current market is not debatable. To claim that the, the, the wheels are going to fall off this economy and you're not going to be able to sell that house. That is blasphemy. Okay. And he's talking out of his ass. Since this podcast has been released, home prices have gone nothing but up, even if you adjust for inflation. This is proof on video that if these people had taken Grant's terrible real estate advice, which was never based in any sort of reality, they would have lost at least a hundred thousand dollars in equity. When I say don't listen to Grant's real estate advice, I mean it. Instead of chasing a $200,000 deal, chase a $2.5 million deal. I tell you over and over, look, do not buy less than 16 units. 16 units. Do not, because without 16 units, you cannot have a manager. And if you can't have a manager, you're not going to either have your attention on the property or your full-time job. All right. Particularly those of you out there making $150,000 a year, you're making 180, you're making 200. You don't want to take your attention off of what you're making money on. Grant, what in the world are you talking about? This guy is unironically telling the general public to jump straight into buying 20 unit apartment buildings and the best justification he can possibly think of for that? But without 16 units, you cannot have a manager. If you buy a duplex and you rent it out to two families that don't cause you problems every other day, you don't need a full-time property manager. That is ridiculous. Just because you have a full-time job does not mean you don't have time to call a plumber to fix a clogged toilet. What if someone finds a great off-market deal on a single-family home? They shouldn't even think about that, right Grant? Because it's missing the extra 15 units, of course. And that's not even mentioning the fact that the average American can't even get pre-approved for a 16-unit apartment building. Either he doesn't know what he's talking about, or he's lying on purpose. And the problem here is, he's not making a mistake, he has a verified financial incentive to lie, and that's exactly what he's doing. And I think that's best evidenced by his book that he wrote that's falsely titled How to Create Wealth Investing in Real Estate, which is nothing but a $35 paid advertisement to invest into Cardone Capital. The trick here is that if you can get someone to buy once, it's much easier to get them to buy the second time because the consumer is now financially invested into the things you say. Here is Grant explaining exactly that in writing. With that being said, let's check out this review of the book made by the YouTube channel Sharma's Karma. It's a great video, so I recommend checking out his channel if you want a detailed review of this book. You know, like by the time I finish chapter four, I'm like, oh my God, this is just mental fuckery. Like this is just to take somebody, discourage them, confuse the heck out of them. If they were new and they really believe in what he's saying, like they're gonna, you're gonna be at the end and you're just gonna be like, yo, this is like too much, I can't do it. Here's my money, Grant, you invest it for me. 
And this same exact narrative is repeated by many people in the review section of this book. I will admit the book has generally good reviews, but given the fact that he's 110% undeniably proven to be unethical when it comes to reviews for Cardone Capital, I don't trust these reviews at all. So let's talk about Cardone Capital, which is in my opinion the most unethical real estate investment fund in the history of mankind. I'll let Grant explain the business model to you guys. Pay attention here because it's going to be very important later on. Well, what I do is I buy the real estate with my money. Right. So I'm not using your money to buy the real estate. I buy it and then I open the fund up and say, Hey, I bought this. We're already cash flowing. Mm -hmm. I love this property. We think it's going to do X. We think your return will be probably two X on mm -hmm. the way out. So if you give me a million dollars, you're going to next time you see that money is probably going to be $2 million mm -hmm. and it's going to pay you 120 grand a year or 6% while you wait. And then it's going to double. Grant, if you could double everyone's money, you'd be the richest person to ever touch planet Earth, and the entire world's economy would get destroyed. But he makes ridiculous claims like this all the time. Here he is promising 15% annual returns on your money if you invest in Cardone Capital. You will earn 6% of your money, and then when I'm done paying you 6, I'm going to pay you another 9 on top of that. Because that's what a good uncle does. You're going to walk away with a 15% annualized return. If I'm in that deal for 10 years, you're going to earn 150%. And then it's going to double on your money. You can tell the SEC that's what I said it would be. Yeah, someone should tell the SEC about that, Grant. Anyways, I was on the Cardone Capital website and I noticed this where it says in writing that they're rated a 5 out of 5 on Google, which if you know anything about online reviews, this is physically impossible even if you run the greatest and most ethical business in the history of mankind. So I decided to look into it. If we take a look at these reviews in the last month or so, there's about 4 or 5, but if we go down to about 7 months ago, there is suddenly thousands of consecutive reviews that coincidentally all all just so happen to be five stars. You guys can go and verify this for yourselves and what you'll find is that these are either bot accounts or he was giving out incentives for people to leave five star reviews on his Google page which either way are both explicitly against Google's TOS. But I guess they just don't care about people using fake reviews to rob the general public out of their hard earned money. And you might be wondering how does he rob the general public out of their money? Well, let's take a look at this video made by the YouTube channel Growing Up in Scientology. Between September 2016 and December 2019, Grant Cardone purchased 13 deals that he then sold to his Cardone Capital investors. And depending on which purchase price you wanna use for each property, whether we're talking about the actual purchase price that Grant Cardone actually paid, or the false inflated purchase price, that Grant Cardone told his investors that he paid. The total purchase price of the 13 properties was between one and $1.1 billion. Grant Cardone and Cardone Capital does not disclose the actual purchase price of these properties to Cardone Capital investors. So he's using unethical business practices like verifiably fake reviews and giving intentionally bad advice and writing $35 sales pitch books to lure people into his personal get rich quick scheme. And in my opinion, just straight up robbing people who have far less money than he does by selling them deals that he buys with his own money at a markup of an average of 11%. And keep in mind, this is on top of charging the fees that Cardone Cardone Capital already charges. To put it simply, he's not making other people rich with Cardone Capital. He's making himself rich. Obviously, it's not up for me to decide whether he does or doesn't go to prison, but if I had to bet money on it, he's definitely currently being investigated by the government. And all I can really say is that I sleep happily every night knowing that I haven't stolen more than $100 million from my own followers. I think investing in real estate is great. I've personally helped more than 20 families out there invest in real estate and I'm not even saying don't invest in a real estate syndication there's plenty of great ones out there but Cardone Capital is not one of them if you are going to invest in real estate there is not a single person out there that I'd advise against listening to more than Grant Cardone every single piece of advice he puts out into the world is strategically placed there to benefit himself 
I could talk about Cardone Capital all day, but to put it simply, Cardone Capital only exists for Grant's best interests, not his investors. And Grant's bad advice and unethical behavior is not limited to just real estate. You're a rapper. You're out there freaking. You're out there boom, boom, boom. In addition to giving bad advice, if I get rid of the downs, if I get rid of the downs, what do I end up with? All ups, man. Bruh. All you gotta do is get rid of the downs. And sometimes just a borderline illegal advice. Just be friends. I don't feel like it. I don't oh. care. I don't care if you Smooth. don't feel like it. Is that my hand on the back of your head? That's what that is. Grant will often expose himself as one of the biggest grifters on planet Earth. So if you're down to your last thousand yeah. dollars, this offer today is nine ninety seven. GrantCardone.com forward slash shark. Okay. Yeah. You're down. A guy's sitting there right now. Watching this, and I'm, I got my last grand, dude, and I got Christmas coming. Should you spend it on this? Absolutely. I would tell you the same thing. He should be behind bars for life for even thinking of saying that. Someone who has a thousand dollars left should pay this multi-millionaire all of the money in their bank account, not be able to pay rent, not be able to pay their utility bills, not be able to buy food for themselves and their family just so they can get generic advice like this. You, you should never have money in the bank. So what, this what, is so what our I parent, do, do I buy gold? You, no, 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 no. You only <laughs> no, buy things like that topic. produce cash flow that can't be disrupted. Uh, uh, like? Uh, like the real estate I buy. Are we serious here? I genuinely believe he should be in prison for life just for recording that video, watching it back, and still posting it to the internet. I think this is just a perfect example of the lack of empathy that this man truly has for the average person out there, who makes far less than he already does. When I say every word this dude says is there to benefit himself and not the consumer, that doesn't just apply to real estate, it applies to every word he says. Grant has no morals, no integrity, and no empathy for the same people that he scams. And I think this is best evidenced by the Instagram story he posted titled How to Close Someone Who's Going Bankrupt. You need Jesus, ma'am. How about when Grant said he'd be embarrassed if he was making less than $400,000 a year? Because I don't know how you guys could even live on that number. If, if I made 400 grand a year, I would be embarrassed with myself as a husband, a father, basically as a human being. Dude, if I were you, I would be too embarrassed to ever step in front of a camera ever again. You guys haven't done the math. I've done the math, Grant, and you're just an imbecile. There's, there's as much slavery in a country today as there ever has been. You got 300 million people in this country that are slaves. It's called the middle class. They just made it to a place. Right. They just made it. I can pay my bills. I can pay my mortgage. Look look what they're paying for. I can pay my house. Mm. I, I, I paid my house off now. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I paid the house off. I don't have that anymore. I got a retirement account. These, these five things that I just mentioned are simply machine. You guys can watch that clip back 20 times. The man is actually going senile. He didn't even mention five things. The same guy who can't even count to five in his rhetorical example as to why the middle class is the modern day equivalent to literal slavery wants you to give him money so he can get you out of the shackles. Just some absolutely incredible content right here. In case anyone's confused as to why this type of stuff is grifting, he's not not here to actually help people become the best possible versions of themselves. He actually wants people to feel bad about where they are in life so you can buy a course from him or invest with him. Uh, like the real estate I buy. Can you tell people why Papa's so good? Because uh, he's a millionaire and he knows Scientology. Whoa, really? What does that have to do with anybody? You're just making stuff up. I help people, that's why. It's not because I'm a millionaire. 
because you know Scientology. Yeah, that video is totally not creepy at all, totally normal behavior that this man has been indoctrinated into a literal cult at the age of 45 and his daughter is like four years old in that video and now she's bragging about the cult that Grant is in while on a live stream that she shouldn't have been on in the first place, which is just some truly fantastic parenting there, man. Before I started doing this counseling with the Church of Scientology, I had never given any money to anyone, ever. Never gave any money, why? Because I was insecure about money. I couldn't give. Grant, send me money if you're such a giving fake billionaire. Send me money for making this video about you, which is apparently just gonna get you more customers. I deserve to be paid a commission for this. In all seriousness, I do hope Grant sees this video because I know that Grant is a very empathetic Scientologist who truly does care about people and totally isn't a sociopath who recruits people into the cult that he's in. And I think Grant's excessive amounts of empathy for those around him is best evidenced by the fact that he fired half of his employees as soon as the lockdowns in 2020 happened. Anything I can do for you on recommendations, my job right now is to get my ship healed fuel back up, moving in the right direction so that I can call you guys back and hire you back. And the best thing every boss out there can do is save your ship. Get it fueled, get it recalibrated, get it going in the right direction. Grant, you know how you could have saved your ship preemptively? By not buying an $850,000 door for your $60 million private jet. This door right here, believe it or not, cost eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars to put in insane i just don't get this man one day he's a giving guy the next day he's willing to fire half of his staff in the blink of an eye if everything else i just showed you doesn't show grant's blatant lack of appreciation for those who follow him and those around him the fact that he's confirmed to have fired half of his staff as soon as something goes wrong for him should show you how truly terrible of a human being this guy really is Maybe if we cut down on the costs like the $300,000 table you put in your private jet, you'd be able to pay your employees. So this is a credenza for whatever it's worth, probably cost 300 grand. I mean, it's crazy. When you start putting stuff on a jet, it's bizarre. It's amazing to me that people who watch Grant Cardone are genuinely deluded into believing that the guy is a billionaire while also being able to Google the fact that he fired half his staff in 2020, the same week that things started going slightly wrong for him. Or what about his newest grift, the 10X Health System? where you can buy a $132,000 tanning bed and a mat to lay on after you're done tanning. This is totally normal and not a grift at all, right guys? After all, it does come with oxygen and white glove shipping and delivery. And look, Grant is in great shape, specifically for someone his age. I'd be the first one to admit that. But he's not qualified in any possible way to be selling $100,000 products to help others with their health. I would be willing to bet every dollar in my bank account that Grant is on either TRT or HGH. And the fact of the matter is, he's going to cease existence earlier due to his rapid abuse of PEDs, just so he can sell more $130,000 tanning beds. I've even consulted coach Greg Duchette for his expert opinion on whether Grant is natty or not. She put on too much muscle too quickly and to look in that kind of condition, I simply don't think you can achieve that natural. If Greg's wrong, which he never is, I'm going to need to see some blood work from a third party, Grant. He can't because he's a fake natty. So Grant might have a great physique now, but anyone who knows anything about fitness knows that in most cases, it's not worth it to compromise your long-term health just to look better at the age of 64 and specifically when you're managing billions of dollars worth of real estate using other people's money. So in conclusion, Grant is absolutely the real deal. After I buy his $500 course on how to invest in real estate by just investing in Cardone Capital, I'll totally get rich and I can finally maybe move out of the backyard because I'm not gonna lie, it does get cold out here sometimes, especially living on the East Coast. Now, one thing I wanna say before we end the video, people often say things like, 
oh, how does anyone get scammed by this guy? I don't feel bad for them at all. And I get where you're coming from. I think one thing people don't understand is that not necessarily everyone watches content like CoffeeZilla's or Spencer Cornelia, where there's even a discussion about scams or fake gurus. And I've come to learn over the years that certain people learn certain lessons at different stages in life. So although I've personally never been scammed by a fake guru like Grant or Ty Lopez or me, Kevin, at the end of the day, these guys are where they are because they're good at what they do, which is essentially full-time grifting. And I truly feel horrible for the people that lose money as a result of these con artists. So I do my best to try and educate the general public about these people which I personally consider to be immoral. If you guys made it all the way till the end of this video, think you might like this one about Ty Lopez on the screen right now. Uh, I read a book a day. Or maybe this one about me, Kevin. Mostly because I'm often right. That's just what I think. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you like the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And aside from that, I hope you all have a great day.